Don't drink more. The longer you stay, the higher your blood alcohol goes. Trooper right? Trooper said if you if you drink three or four drinks and maybe an hour later, your blood alcohol level might even be higher right. because it has more time to get through the system. Right, and that matters because so many of us just kind of hang out for a little bit and then right, it's a that's when it hits us. Yep. All right, turning to weather now. What's going to happen tonight? Well, it looks like we've got a few lingering showers out there this evening, and then those are out of here, and it looks like we kick off what should be a pretty nice weekend as we head into our Friday. You know, rarely do I start with this national temperature. Matt, but I thought this was a really interesting story given the fact it's early May here and highs today should be in the 70s and we didn't even climb out of the mid 50s this afternoon. So yeah, indeed, it's pretty cool a good across a good chunk of the east. But here's even what's more interesting. Check this out. And of course, notoriously warm cities like Miami over towards Houston and Dallas where they're in the 80s. Yeah, it's warm today, but it's much hotter across parts of Canada. Believe it or not. Check out Winnipeg 95 degrees this afternoon. This this is one of the hottest places on the North American continent. Hard to believe that it's hotter in parts of Canada than it is down in places like Florida, the desert Southwest and along the Gulf Coast. So that's part of the reason why they've been dealing with all those wildfires up there. Around here, though, unseasonable cool weather and this evening's going to be chilly as temperatures drop back down through the 50s. There are one or two lingering showers out there, but I'm not really concerned about a lot of rain around here this evening. It looks gloomy out, but there's been a few peaks at the sun too. It's 55 at the airport. We've got a west wind at six right now. Here's a look at radar. Those showers are few and far in between, but they're out there though, and they're dropping from north to south. You can see they're not terribly heavy, and if you find yourself underneath one of them, it's only going to last probably five, six minutes, and then it will pass right on by. But here we are just to the west of Batavia over near Amelia here, Williamsville down towards New Palestine. Some brief sprinkles and showers. Same story up towards Kirbyville, south of Moore's Fork right now. Newtonsville. This heading down 133 towards Blowville, it looks like. All right, some other additional showers up near Oxford between Brookville and Hamilton right now. This just passed south of Oxford down towards Riley, and this is going to head over towards Okeana. The reason why we've got this storm system that's off in the Carolinas, you see this spin in the atmosphere. We're on the backside of that system, so we've had this cool northeasterly wind today underneath clouds, but high pressure. It's going to build in here tonight, clear the skies out, and get some sunshine back in here for Friday and the start of the weekend. Right now, 62 Spring World is 56 in Mason, low 50s, Georgetown, Brooksville. Again, keep in mind, we should be in the low 70s, so temperatures are almost 20 degrees cooler than they should be. So a shower or two possible between about now and let's say eight or nine o'clock. And then after that, things should really clear out across the area overnight. It'll be chilly to start on your Friday, but with sunshine back in the picture, afternoon highs will climb close to 70. Looks like a nice Friday and Friday night around here. Your Saturday looks nice too, at least during the day. It will be sunny and warm highs on Saturday. We go from 50s today to near 70 tomorrow to low 80s on Saturday. So Saturday will be a nice day to enjoy during the daytime hours. Saturday night, though, looks stormy. So 45 for a low tonight. Again, with a shower or two left here this evening. Then tomorrow, sunny and warming up near 70. Here's your day planner. 48 at 8 a.m., 64 by lunchtime, and close to 70 late. Here's your seven-day forecast. Mike and Sheree, because of the fact that cold front has slowed up some, I've had to leave a little lingering rain into early Mother's Day morning. Mother's Day does not look like a washout, though, but the first half could be a little gloomy. Doesn't matter to Sheree about the washout or not.